This is my new Sony HDR AS300 action cam and uh, I'm going to compare the performance with the uh, optical image stabilization in standard mode and then test it in uh, action mode while walking around the outside of her house and I thought I'd show you the components. I, I will list the uh, model numbers in the, uh, uh, the description of the video. Anyway, uh, uh, this is the camera and I do have the, uh, uh, the protective cover I bought for it. Uh, and the camera is splash proof but it's not waterproof. Uh, this will make it waterproof. I bought this grip. It just came uh, yesterday. And uh, the first uh, test video I did without the grip. And uh, uh, this is a remote uh, monitor. And it comes when you order the camera with the uh, HD uh, the AS300R you get the remote monitor and you get uh, uh, this wristband that it'll clip to and it also clips to this uh, grip which can be used as a little tripod or as a grip and uh, open that back up so uh, it also came with a the camera came with these uh, two attachments and it also had a, uh, a mini USB to USB cord where you can charge it and uh, I also I ordered uh, uh, this suction cup uh, camera holder and it has this extension uh, which I plan to use this when we're traveling in our RV to do a uh, dash cam video. Anyway, uh, so far I like it and I just thought I'd show you the components and then we'll go on to the two videos and the tests. And I'm filming this with a Panasonic uh, FC1000 camera with a remote uh, Panasonic microphone Okay, this is the test, uh, the walk around the house, testing the action image stabilization, and we'll compare that with the standard image stabilization on the Sony AS300. The difference today is I'm using the Sony grip, and I also have the uh, non-reflective uh, Sony lens uh, protector on. And uh, this is my, my uh, second time I filmed this because I was getting a bad hologram and I believe I didn't have the non-reflective lens protector on correctly which was causing the hologram. So we're going to try this again. So here we go. I think uh, one difference is the uh, grip will probably magnify any kind of shake because it's extended about four or five inches beyond my hand. But hopefully uh, in the action stabilization mode uh, we may have better stabilization than the standard uh, stabilization mode.
you could hear that traffic noise. I listened to the audio on the Sony Action Cab and I thought it was quite good for as small as microphones that are built in. We'll pretty much take the same route. There's one of the neighbor's chickens at our rose bush. We'll move in on that flower and you can see if the close-up capability is any good. There's about six inches away. We're in the wide mode. And there's about uh, three inches away from the flower. And we'll continue on the same uh, route that we took yesterday. Pan over to that chicken. There's a robin near that chicken. Now uh, there is a zoom on this but basically it just crops a picture for the video. There's Uh, the wide mode, uh, the medium mode, and then the narrow mode. It can be zoomed or, or put in any of those three modes. It's just a digital zoom, I believe. And we'll continue on our tour of our house and the uh, testing of the image stabilization in the action mode. These chickens are belong to the neighbor. They come around here to uh, get anything they can that falls on the ground from our bird feeder. They seem to spend more time over here than they do the neighbors where the roost is. I'm not going to start feeding them though. They're just going to have to get whatever they can that drops out of that tree there. There's a rooster over there. It's a pretty rooster. We're kind of in a shaded area now, a little, little darker than uh, we've been walking around the rest of the house. There's the, uh, oh a squirrel just went up the tree. There he is up there, I don't know if you can see him, it's behind those leaves. There's a the bird feeder over there, there's a the squirrel. 
right up in there. Looks like he found him something to eat. Well, we'll continue on. You never know what you're going to see in this backyard. I sure hope I don't see that hologram when I view this video clip on the computer. That was really disappointing there. Okay, this is the front porch. It's uh, not very well lit. I would call it a low light situation. And now we're we're coming into the living room. There's slippers. She's announcing my arrival. This is very uh, very low light right here, and I'll turn on the other light. And uh, this would be, uh, I guess you'd say, uh, medium room light, what you'd encounter in most inside most buildings. So you you can get an idea of how well it works indoors. And there's uh, just a lamp now. This is very low light. Well, I thought I would uh, check the wind filter since uh, when I reviewed that last clip, I noticed uh, there was some wind noise. So I've I've turned the wind uh, the wind reduction filter in the settings on, and to get an idea of uh, how the audio sounds with it on, we're getting quite a bit of wind right through here see how that works out. Big gust of wind right now. You can see all this wind. That's a lot of wind there. Well, question is, can you hear me now? That it's filtered? We'll see. We'll just put this on the end. I thought it would be a good comparison too. Besides the two uh, image stabilization comparisons. <laughs> 